Hello, you guys. Ooh, look at that. New hair. Who dis? Let me see. I think you might be too high. Yes, that's a little bit better. Um, I, I, oh, ooh, first of all, quick catch up. I had a really chilled weekend away from the camera and I feel like the last few weekends I've just been like vlogging bits here and there and kind of feeling like oh I need to start editing a little but this felt like I had stepped away from work completely um, I mean it was still busy so it wasn't like the most relaxing weekend but Sunday was Sunday was um, but just to fill you in I clearly have new hair new hair who dis i went back to mystique and i just have to say yet again that they nailed it Ugh, i've seen this hair well this style this style on uh a, a few people now and every time i see it i'm like that's so cute um and so i went back to mystique i paid i paid this time the last couple of times they were so gracious and they extended a discount but this time i was a happy happy customer went back to the same lady who did uh my hair last time her name is leah and um and i just love it but also you know what i discovered <laughs> did you know and maybe this is because i'm i'm not like hair savvy when it comes to like techniques and braids and all the like cool new stuff but i did not know that my well my hair is longer than this i did not know that you could fold the hair so that so that you still can have a short bob if you want like braids in so i, I was just watching her do it and i was like what I, has this been happening all this time because there's so many times i wanted like a nice cute short bob even shorter than this right like even here and i think like oh there's no way because my hair is longer so there's no way but she would like she did this i was just i was just like wow wow i'm so happy that things don't change quite a bit and that i can enjoy my hair because my hair is just it's just like or maybe about the same length as this maybe actually but if if they had actually done it then they would have um if if they had if she had braided it all the way down because this part she had to burn you know with the candle to kind of make sure that it doesn't run then that would have been my hair getting that heat um uh, so that was just amazing. Uh, and then I had a nice little wax appointment with Yvonne. I'm gonna link Mystique and um, Aromatic Spa, which is where I go to get my eyebrows and my wax. I'm gonna link them down below. You can tell I've done my nails. Sophie came over and I just I just love it. I went for something bright. It's this like yummy shade of, of um, violet. It's, it's so pretty. It's just this as a sweater, oh, I would love. Um, and and then on Saturday, well, morning, I just kind of was like on mom duties the more, most of the most of the day actually. But the evening, I went for BYSS, which was their first show back in the, in two years since COVID and everything, and it was just so lovely. I was there to obviously, obviously, be there for Patricia. And then I had a really chilled Sunday. Um, today, I just start today is valentine's day i'm actually filming this on valentine's day and what you see before me is a package that i have been eagerly awaiting for a minute now i have to say like with samu store it's a bit of a hit and a miss there are times when the package comes this quick and then there are times when it just does not come this quick and it's just it's one of those things where I, I and I, I know I've said this be before, but I'm just going to say it again. If you were like in urgent, dire need of getting something by a certain date, I don't know if I, I don't know, I don't know if they would deliver. That's the truth. But if you're not too fussed about time, which honestly, everything in here, like I didn't need it by a certain time, um, then I guess it's okay if you're ordering in from America okay I it, it's okay it's okay and I had to get one of these items was being sent by a brand at least I hope it's in here um so I had to I had to go via Savo store but just uh just putting it out there I'm gonna link them down below in case you're looking for a shipping company but I just also want you to know that it's just sometimes neither here nor there anyway I want to open it because I've been dying I've been dying to get into this uh, I placed this order uh, back in January and I have a feeling that's 
that some of the things that, uh, that I'm gonna pull out, I will have on repeat for a long time. Just checking to see that like my phone number and address is not everywhere. <laughs> it feels like my birthday and it ain't my birthday. Uh, okay, so I, I, uh, I bought a couple of gowns from Amazon because, oh, oh my God, I love how this, <gasps> I'm so smart. I'm so smart. I have a feeling you're gonna love this. I'm gonna, I'm, I, I'm gonna link everything down below. In fact, what I will also do is link my Amazon store because I created, finally created like my Amazon storefront so you can see like the items that I have bought and loved and um, if you're, I, I'm just gonna link that in the, description, in the description box, but I will also obviously link all of these pieces individually. Look at this robe, I mean it's, First of all, it's such a beautiful shade of green. And then the birds and the little like cherry blossom type tree print. Oh, <laughs> I'm so excited. In the last year, I just feel like I've been slowly upping my sleepwear game. And I'm really happy with the direction this part of my life is taking. Better than other parts of my life. And I'm just so proud of myself. I'll do a try on haul, but I obviously just want to try this on now because war is. Hello! Hello! Oh my god, I love it! I love it! Oh wait, where is my. Where is the. Oh, here it is. Ugh. I'm obsessed. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. I love the length of the sleeves. I love. Um, the length too, like it just goes to, well I'm going to show you an actual video that, um, of me wearing the, the item so you'll see exactly where it hits me, but I just love it. I love the feel of it. It feels really luxurious. I mean, it's, I, it's not silk given the price point. I don't think it's going to be 100% silk. I'm looking for a tag, something that gives me more information. Oh, here. What is it? Yeah, 95% polyester, 5% spandex. Um, so it's not silk, but it feels great. Like, it feels really good. Um, I love the color, and I'm just so happy because when I'm getting ready in the morning, what I usually will do is I'll have my robe on when I'm putting my makeup on, as I'm putting my makeup on. If I'm not putting makeup on, then I'll just go from like towel, rub down, and like oiling myself and putting body butter and whatever on me into my clothes. Um, but if I am wearing makeup and I, and I don't want to have my clothes on just yet, then I will usually have a robe. And I was just thinking like, I don't know, like I've got a black one and a blue one, just those two. And the blue one I've had for a while now. And I, the more I see the color, the more I'm like, I don't like the, the blue isn't it for me. So I was looking for something like this here. Couldn't really find anything because the robes that we usually have are like the thicker ones for when they're cold. At least those are the ones that I saw in a lot of stores. And then some others were like quite sexy. And I'm like, I just want to do my makeup. <laughs> um, so this this is just perfect. Um, I got a second one. This time though, the um, the print is very different and the colors are very different. I def I can tell already, like this is definitely my favorite. This, I like, but I don't know if it's the one I will reach for that much. Although who knows, maybe once like I start doing my makeup, I'll be like, actually this hides all the like stains and like makeup stuff that's like foundation that's fallen in it a lot better. Um, but it is, yeah, it's black with the orange detail along the hem and you can see flowers on it. Are there any animals? No, no, just flowers. I mean, it's like nice and simple, but I, I just think this is, oh, this is so beautiful and so classic. Okay. Okay. All right. Yes, 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 yes. Yes! I forgot that this was the color. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I got these dresses because I've seen a few people, maybe like four or five people talk about this brand, um, but specifically, was, was it this brand actually? 
but I can't even remember some of this stuff, to be very honest. I think it's this brand. Um, Remo, I I'll link it down below and talk about like uh, the fact that this type of dress is such a nice classic piece to have, um, is such a nice simple item to have in your wardrobe and I cannot wait to try it on so I can see what it looks like or how it fits on me. What size is this actually? I got it in a size small which is a US 4 or 6 and that is a UK 8 or 10 I believe. Um, so it should fit well, but I'll, I guess I'll only know how I really feel about it once I try it on. Okay. Next item, I think is another dress. Right? Yes. Yes. Aha. Oh boy, I hope this fits. I hope this fits well. Oh, the, uh, yeah. Because this elasticated part on this dress feels very like nice and secure this one not so much like i almost feel like i should have gone for a smaller size what size is this ah it's the same size size uh s a small or, or a four to six us which is an eight to ten uk again i guess we'll only know once i actually try it try it on if I love it or not um, but I just love the color like it's a beautiful orange like a vibrant cherry orange almost gearing towards red oh can I just say I also got the um, this red and white and black and white twine because when I was um, doing the gift uh, wrapping during Christmas season I got this one um, it was a little bit of twine from Miniso, so little. But I remember just going back to that twine and I thought, why not get, why not get more? Because whatever was in that pack, even though it was so affordable, it was so little from Miniso. So I went ahead and just bought a good, good amount of twine because that brown wrapping paper that I used and used and used in December will be used and used and used for the next few years. Like that's probably what I'm gonna go back to and then be, changing it up with the bows and twine and all of that but for the most part i'm just gonna make it easy with the wrapping so i got that too oh uh these are pajamas for my little lady i don't know i just i just like some of the deals that i usually get on um amazon when it comes to sleepwear for kids i don't know if i should just link that in my amazon shop i'm not sure but i mean yeah why not i'm just gonna link it in the amazon shop um because why not? Okay, next up I have... Oh, tights! Yes, leggings, leggings. I have leggings. Dear God, please, I hope these fit well. Okay, aha. Uh -huh. So first thing I'm realizing is that the fabric is is thinner than I would have expected or it's different from what I'm usually used to I don't know how this will feel on but just from the feel of it it feels super cozy my goal with these leggings was to not work out in them but to have options because I, I like I like hanging out in leggings um, like during the day if I'm not leaving the house uh, I, I, I'm, I usually go between I usually go between um, either like proper dressing up and like having like a nice dress because I want to feel a certain type of way or leggings and a t-shirt because I just want to get like I just want to be cozy like super cozy during the day um and so I got a bunch of them I wonder though if I can work out in them I guess I'll have to, I'll only know once I try them on if they feel like ones I can actually do a workout in okay so I got them in black this um polka dot or like splatter print and gray what <laughs> gray splatter black i also got them in red green and uh merlot like a nice dark shade of red again as i try the pieces on i guess you'll be hearing what i actually think about them but you know i got myself a new macbook and because apple just like to be so different also known as so being so difficult they um 
the, you know, like a normal USB end port that doesn't fit into my laptop. Um, it doesn't have a, a memory card slot either. So you need one of these items so that um, this end can slot into the laptop and then you've got all these ports in there that can serve you with like regular um, USB and your SD cards and, and all of that. So got myself one of these. And then the last item that I want to share with you is from Adorn Mond. I should, I, I'm not sure how to pronounce their name, but oh wow, packaging is so pretty. Look at that. I love, I love that. It's so pretty. And this was a PR product that was actually sent sent to me. Oh my gosh. Oh, I had, oh wow. I'm gonna come in closer because I really, because this looks so beautiful and I feel like we need to just be experiencing this together. But there are these three, here we go. There are these three little boxes in the prettiest shade of pink, like a blush pink, or I don't know if this counts as millennial pink. Oh my God, and a little card too. Oh, I'm so excited to try these on. Oh my gosh. My ear game is going to be next level. So we've got, oh, I'm gonna have to come in real close for this one. Can you see that? So we've got that beauty. So these are um, 14 karat solid gold, but the little gems here are just crystals. Oh, I just, I'm so excited to have like some interesting huggies, but I know myself, like once I put something on, which is what I did with these ones from uh, Akik Galleria, it's just a mission to take them off. I don't know. Oh, I might trade these ones on this ear because they're just two studs. But these ones, it just, just given how long it takes to put them on, I just need to be committed for a longer time. So I, I kind of just want to keep these there for now. And then um, what I can't wait for them to heal are these ones up at the top because it's been like six months maybe and are they healed? No, but I'm gonna just, I'm, I'm just gonna be patient because from everything I heard um, before getting the piercings, it can take up to a year for it to be fully healed. I mean, they're fine. Like I can move them around, I can do all of that. But every once in a while it like feels like, and especially the one at the top, it just feels like it can be irritated by something and so it just starts to feel a little bit more sore um, and then it'll be okay and then it's like sore again so I don't know but these ones at the bottom they're like perfectly fine and so are these two ah oh, just love the little boxes too okay second little box let's see oh 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 my god look how tiny they are how tiny is that Honestly, these are the um, Hayes stud earrings. I'll link all of them down below. They're also 14 karat gold and then just uh, crystals. These would be perfect like up here on my Helix studs. Oh, it's so beautiful. Although, can you have Helix with this kind of end? I don't know if you can. I mean, they are so dainty so tiny oh lord i can't wait for that to heal so i can put it on um and so i'm just i'm not sure if you can have these kind of stops here and it's it's just i love it i love it i'm just i just love like nice little dainty pieces of jewelry and especially now that i've got a bit more of an ear party going on oh wow wow this is big this is a lot bigger than I expected it would be. Like I thought it would be a, a lot smaller and maybe actually I should show you when it's in there because it focuses a little bit better. But that's, that's it. I thought it would be a lot shorter 
Um, but this is one of those that if you just had one piercing, it would be quite dramatic because it's like a, a hugger. Is that what it's called? A crawler? I'm not entirely sure. I'm not too great with my piercing lingo, but it's it, it just, it goes up your ear. And I think this would be such good drama. But I just, I just love that it's like a take on like the fun crawlers, but like more sophisticated because it's got little pearls in between. I think I might just have to change things up because I'm so curious to try so many of these. And then the last but not least, um, Oh, wow, that's such a cute pouch. Oh, I think, aha, okay, I get it, I get it. So these, are, this set is gold-plated, so I guess that's why the packaging is also a little bit different too, but this little pouch is so cute. Like, this would be so great if you're traveling and you just wanna put your jewelry somewhere that you know, like, it's a little pouch dedicated to jewelry. Um, so these are, gold plated which quite honestly i'm really excited about because i realized some of the other ones that i would buy some of the earrings like earrings like these that i would buy would just cause my ears some a great level of irritation and honestly i mean i think i even mentioned it did i mention it in a video i'm not sure but i think be, with my jewelry i i think there's always space and a place for like more fun costume type jewelry i think that will always have a place um in my in my world at least for sure but more and more i just also want to explore like the more fine jewelry like dainty pieces also ones that won't cause my ear to go green you know the ones that at some point you're just like what is that what is happening to that stud because why is it green you know you know also i I have to say like in tone it's very different it's very different from this other gold from these other gold pieces can i also just say that i think i know like the higher in carrot then you know like the more luxurious it's supposed to be but i prefer an, a less yellow gold tone to jewelry so the and usually the lower you are in carrots like then the less yellowy it is um and i actually i think i prefer that i definitely prefer that um because these just have like a more muted tone. But anyway, I'm gonna try these on because I'm just dying to see what it looks like. Okay, I've put the first one in, which is more like the crawler, and and I think it would work perfectly if it was here because it kind of takes over. It kind of takes over the entire ear, so I couldn't even put another stud at the front. But it's like a nice, a nice statement. I wish I had a mirror here, but I was looking at the, at the mirror out there. Let me just bring my mirror. Yeah, so I was saying like it took, it kind of, um, <laughs> it took over even the first stud. So I feel like if you had, I mean, it's, it's a great, it's a great statement. It's a great statement. But for me, if I had something here, that would be perfect. Because I also would love to show off like some piercings if they were down here. I mean, you could also wear it like that. You could wear it like that, but I don't know if I would. I, I kind of, I kind of just like the idea of it crawling up my uh, ear, and I think that. Don't ask me why. That just went off on its own, and that's partly why I just. <laughs> it just keeps going off on it. Hello, you guys. Sorry. <laughs> it has been a couple days since the last clips that you watched and I realized actually that I didn't ensure the next part that you're going to see, which is like me trying on the pieces for you. So I'm just here to say hello, good morning and uh, keep on watching. Okay, so here is the robe. I mean, it's free size, so we knew it was gonna fit, but <laughs> how beautiful is it? I love, ooh, ooh. Have I been trained too much? Wait, just let me make sure this thing does not budge because I don't wanna get myself in trouble with YouTube, but I just, I love it. It's, like I said, it's free size, the length of the arms. I think I'm, I actually, so the clip you'd have just watched, I filmed that a couple of days ago, so I don't remember exactly what I showed, but I think I remember trying this on and being like, oh, the sleeve length is perfect because it's not gonna get in your way as you're doing things. I actually was wearing it as I was doing today's makeup. <laughs> but I just, I love it. 
perfection. And then we've got this black version with the orange details. I don't love this print as much as I love the other one, but I actually went back to the um, uh, link that had all the different robes and I was looking through and being like, is there another one I would have bought instead of this? And I'm not sure. Maybe there was like one or two others. I was like, oh, now that I have this in person, I mean, the colors are nice, but I just don't love it the same way I love the green one. I still will, and you best believe it, I still will wear it to the end. But it's the same concept, like a nice, um, a nice length. Oh, now I can show you the length properly. So it hits, and I'm 5'3", and it hits my ankles. Um, comes with the robe, and not, not a robe, comes with the tie, and you can see it, you can see what's happening, but I, I'm gonna come in close so you can see the details. So it's got like some flowers on it, some orange and blue hues to contrast the black. I have worn these tights every day since I took them out of the package. Um, either this or a different color, but they are so good. The fabric is so soft. I just, I, I, it's so soft, it feels, like your skin, it's not too tight, which was my goal. Like I wanna lounge in active wear, or it looks like active wear, but it's really not. So, cause my gym clothes are like, like they really suck you in, my tights and everything. This is so comfortable. I love it so much. Um, this particular pair is the one that I've gone back to twice now. And then another one I wore, I can't remember, I think one of the reds or something. Um, but I'm just going to insert myself wearing the other pieces here because I don't need to talk you through each one. Um, but just for a few more details, there is, I think this was something like free size or what did it say on the tag actually? Let me see. Um, oh no, it's small to medium. Free size, Sharon, really? Now that I think about it, that was a bit of a stretch. But it is small to medium, so I guess that's why there's like a lot of, like it's just really comfortable. Um, what else? Oh, it doesn't have pockets. Patricia was here a couple of days ago, and I know she bought t uh, leggings off of Amazon, and I was asking her if, if it's the same one, but hers have uh, pockets. So there's options like those out there as well i might link one just in case you know you want to try one with pockets but i'm not like i'm happy i'm so happy with or without pockets this is exactly what i wanted i will add though it is not something that i would feel very comfortable wearing to a workout because again i just like to feel like my entire body is like cinched cinched in tight held like i just want to feel like everything is like sitting in place and this has like a I mean it's okay and if you were doing like yoga or something light that's fine but I don't know why maybe I could wear it to the gym who knows maybe I could maybe one of these days you might see me at the gym but this is this is it and here is the dress on I absolutely love this I feel like I could live a good chunk of my life just in dresses like these it's easy I can go braless if I want to, which is the case at this moment, although a nice strapless bra, I guess, wouldn't hurt. Um, you can wear the straps up, so just keep it like so, which would give you like a more, yeah, that's, that's not my vibe. That's really, that's not my vibe. But I would def, I mean, you could wear it like that if it's your vibe, if, you, if it's your style. Um, it's light and airy, it's just, Perfect. I honest to God just wish I had this dress in multiple colors. That's my only thing now. Uh, I would be a happy girl if I had this in multiple colors. Like in a black as well because black is classic. And white or like an off-white too. I think for the beach that would be so dreamy like for dinner in the evening. Um, but it cuts you off. I mean it's like a midi length dress and it's in like a beige tone with little flowers on it. It's just so cute. It's so cute. Um, but it's like fail proof. It is fail proof. I would, it's good choice. I'm actually gonna go back and see what other patterns were there and see if I want to try and get others. But for now, I'm just really happy that I have another dress to add to my little collection of dresses you can wear every day. 
Oh my god, it's so pretty! I love it! I just, I, I just love it. Um, so, length, it is longer than the last one, and it kind of hits like right by the ankle, but it doesn't feel like a maxi either. Like I my, I want to say that it is a midi dress, but clearly <laughs> with the way it's hitting my ankles on me, it is not. But I think on someone taller, it would fit, it would sit there, which I think is even better if you ask me. Um, it has these straps that you can then adjust and decide how high you want to tie, tie it, right? So if I didn't want it that high, I could just not have tied it as tight and it would have been looser and so it would have been lower. I'm not wearing a bra once again. Really and truly, if I can go without a bra, I'm gonna try to. Although I do feel like my my boobs would probably sit better if I was wearing a strapless bra. With the heat and the way I'm feeling, couldn't be bothered. And from what I'm seeing in the camera, you can't really tell actually. Like you can't, it's not, it's not giving too much away, which is perfect. I was a little bit worried because the elastic band here doesn't didn't feel as tight as the other one and like even wearing it now i don't feel it as secure but with the way the print works and i it, it's not i i'm not worried that i'm going to slip out of here like it's going to sag i don't know how it will fare after a few washes so hopefully it's still going to have that <laughs> band and it's going to sit where it's supposed to sit but who knows i guess we'll see the time um but i actually think i might just leave this dress on because i have a coffee date um that i'll actually bring you guys uh, along to along for along for um and i feel like this is it this is it for me this plus my equeta um strappy sandals we're good we're good, and I've, uh, I'm just, I'm just a happy girl, can you tell? All right, I'm just about, well, I was just about. Well, am I really being honest about that? I, I have to leave the house in about 10 minutes, and I got a call from someone saying they have a package for me, and it is massive. Like this, it's, it's, it's huge. I'm not sure who it's from, but I suspect it's one of two, Brands, oh, this box is humongous. <laughs> it's the brand that I think it is. <laughs> oh my God, I have to do something for, oh God, I know, I wanna do something for stories. Honestly, I just, sometimes, sometimes I feel like I have him in my apartment and I could just be like, so let's just talk about the, I can't remember if it was a documentary or a movie, but all I remember very clearly is that he takes like a million baths because that's when he is able to be creative and like his mind kind of settles down. I'm so excited about this. Um, so this is for their Tom Ford signature ombre leather parfum. Um, and I have heard so much about this. I'm so curious about this. I have a couple of their other scents um, from the uh, 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 Black Orchid and let me just bring them. Yes, Black Orchid um, collection. So I believe this is the original one. And then this is a different one. I like how I'm giving you all the details in this video. I'm sure that's why you come back to me because I just have all the details that you must ever need in your life. And then I've also got the meta metallic. Um, and I've watched so many people, and especially around Christmas, because I believe like in the UK and did I watch anyone in America? But some of the, the content creators I watch from the UK um, received the this, the ombre leather, uh, perfumes as like a PR product or something and multiple of them were like oh this is such a classic oh this is such a classic and I thought like oh I wonder I wonder what that smells like and now I'm gonna be able to smell it and describe the, the notes to you only because I know they must have it detailed down here so that's the only reason I'll be able to properly describe it to you I'm I, I'm I'm gonna save the unboxing the proper unboxing for 
my stories or my Instagram or something and then obviously I will show you guys what's in here but because I have to leave I can't I can't really do anything right now but I'm just gonna turn it around so that you see and it is heavy uh, even like the like charcoal tissue with Tom Ford logo all over it I just feel like Beyonce is about to show up and, and Jay-Z and we'll just be like so what are you wearing Tom Ford oh yeah me too me too <sighs> oh my gosh that's actually made my day oh i forgot to put the to put this um okay i'm now gonna step out otherwise i will be incredibly late for my coffee date uh, with my friend so i'll bring you along for that but just had i thought i was gonna do a little unboxing but i'm just too excited and i want to save it for for um instagram but we'll do it later we'll do it later so I'm back home now. Um, had a lovely afternoon with my friend and our little girls were also just having a good old time together. Um, and I filmed this for a video that I'll put up on my, either on my stories or on my feed on my Instagram page. I'll link my Instagram account here for you guys, just in case you don't already follow. But I obviously wanted to show you guys what was in the package. They, oh, I, I, can't, I wish I had filmed my reaction maybe i should have had the this camera rolling at the same time as i was like you know filming for my um for my instagram but as soon as i opened and sprayed this like i could just instantly smell like rich leather i don't know how else to describe it it just smelled luxurious and like mature and uh, it's it's so it's so beautiful as a scent. Like this is, I get it. I get the hype. I, I absolutely get the hype. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I can smell the difference between the two, but I don't know whether one is like, I, th I think this might actually be unisex because I can't see how it's only for women or only for men. I mean, I definitely would wear this, but I guess we'll get to learn a little bit more on the call that we have tomorrow. And then they also had a set of whiskey, this whiskey set um, that had this, what is this called? Is it called a decanter? I'm not entirely sure, but these gorgeous glasses. And I'm just so happy to be introducing like more beautiful pieces into my uh, crockery as well. And then they had also the black label Johnny Walker. You guys know I don't really drink, but... That being said, I still buy alcohol because I have people in my life that I love dearly who drink and I just love to be able to offer them what they like when they're here. And, and so the idea of just having some nice old whiskey close by makes me really happy. Um, yeah, so that was in this box, which makes sense why it was so heavy. I haven't removed all the other uh, glassware, the, the rest of the glassware, it's still in there, but I just put two out so I can show you how it was. But it was just packaged so beautifully. I just, I'm so lucky, I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. What a lovely PR package. Also, I should add, ooh, hoo -hoo, the afternoon light. Oh my, excuse me, please excuse me <laughs> I am excused um, but I I filmed my little video for Instagram in my new robe because I just love it so much and I just thought it should have some airtime even though who does an unboxing in a robe I have no idea except for me I'm still gonna do it I just love it so much um, I moved my dried eucalyptus to this corner just so I could have just something that looks pretty I'm feeling like I'm in the flow I'm in the flow and I feel really good except for reading that's the thing where I'm really not in the flow and since I've just spotted it I should sh whoopsie I ran out of battery so I had to go change where are my I? I don't want it too harsh um I also think one of my batteries is faulty because it never allows me to film more than 
20 seconds so I actually changed uh, batteries and then I was speaking probably for two minutes before I looked up and was like this thing went off <laughs> So I'm going to repeat everything I said, which is I haven't been doing really well too good with my reading this month And that's because I have had more screen time than I have had Book time um, I've been watching some good shows though. I watched uh, Inventing Anna, which I think we've all watched I'm sure by now if you haven't you should it's on Netflix. I oof, It's quite harsh that light I think that's a little bit better um, Actually, let me prop you here Oh, so much better. Uh, so, been watching Inventing Anna, would highly recommend. It's just next level. I feel like, oh, actually, I don't know, I don't know if I should say this, but I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> but we were talking about being conned, I guess because of um, Inventing Anna and what's the other one that we've all, Tinder Swindler. So we were talking about like con men, con women, when we've been conned, we were like, it's just a, a bunch of, loved ones and I and we were like oh but it's been a while since we were conned blah 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 we we're just talking about all the things that we've been cheated out of and then someone goes like yeah like it's been a while since um that woman you know asked we heard about that woman asking for fuel or something like that I can't remember someone just brought up a woman asking for fuel and I was like what woman asking for fuel and they're like oh she, the older woman I'm like uh-huh is she Indian <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the old Indian, we all know about the her, and her saying how she's ran out of fuel and so she needs 200 bob. Who gave this woman 200 bob last week? Ah! And I was like, where does this information live? I didn't hear about this woman. I never hear about anything, to be very honest, but Patricia was even pulling up tweets like, uh, We've all known about her for at least like a solid 20 years. I don't know, 15, I, a long time, except for me, apparently. But I was talking to Jeff and Fatma um, on, on a video and I was just telling them about this conversation and they were, were both like, what woman? And I was like, thank God, there's at least three people who didn't know about her, me, Jeff and Fatma. And I just wanna share with you that if an old woman comes to you and claims that she does not have fuel and only needs 200 bob. That's the sweet spot for her, which I don't understand. Like 200 bob, like I just feel... Anyway, she's old, Indian, uh, and I can't remember the make of her car, but apparently from what I heard, <laughs> she's changed cars over the years. Like she just swaps them over. And she, she asks for 200 bob. If she comes to you asking for 200 bob, don't believe her, it's a lie. That's, that's all I, because I got, I got conned just last week. <sighs> but honestly, I mean, of all the things I could be conned out of, I'm really not mad at the 200 bob, which I also didn't tell them. I didn't tell them about the dinner, but I think I even gave her 400 bob, because I was like, oh man, it's really tough for you. <laughs> she must have been like, that is the easiest mark of my life. <sighs> but I didn't, I, could, I didn't even tell them at dinner, I was like, I'm just going to keep the fact that I gave her more than she asked for because my heart was like, this is my little moment of the day to give back. Anyway, honestly, I, honestly, 400 bob, I'm okay with. Hundreds of, th no, millions of shillings? Like the women from, oh, like the women from um, Tinder Swindler, or the people from, what's the other one now? Uh, Inventing Anna? I'm fine, thank you. I'll take my 400 bob. In fact, next time I might just give her another 200 to be like, thank you for not taking more. <laughs> Kidding, anyway, why did I even, oh, I was talking about all the shows that I've been watching lately, and so that's, that's it. And that's why I've not been reading. Last month, January, I read five books. This month, I've only finished one. And I don't know if I'll finish this because I'm looking at the time <clears throat> and given how slow I'm going, I need to start on our actual book of the month, which is Stay With Me. Um, that's for Chasing Paper Books. If you're new here, my friend and I started a book club. I will leave a link in the description box in case you want to join. Um, but yeah, I'm just like, I'm watching too much TV. I want to I like reset things over here. Uh, so I'm probably, will I actually spend my evening reading or do I just want to say that? I'll give myself at least a solid 
30 minutes to jumpstart my reading habits and that's what I'm going to do this evening so I can do a little bit of TV watching screen time because I'm just that's I'm, I feel the pool of the screen but I will get myself back on track with reading anyway as you can tell from whatever is behind me whoa ho ho there's a lot of cleaning up that needs to happen and I also need to get my makeup off I'm really bummed I've been looking for um, the simple oil cleanser and it, feel, it seems like it's sold out everywhere I checked on my dawa I've been to good life and that several good life pharmacies I can't find it anywhere and that's usually my first step when it comes to makeup and taking off my makeup I just think the oil breaks down my makeup faster than any other cleanser and it works well on my skin with my skin it doesn't irritate my skin and I can't find it anywhere mm. um, but oh well I'm still gonna take my makeup off get into pajamas make myself a dawa uh, what time is it now it is now five I don't know if I, I might, I might, I might actually start editing this video to give myself a head start because tomorrow is a busy day. Um, and then I'm going to read. So that is a sum up of my evening, unless I pick up my camera again, because I have something to tell you, which is what happened last time. I didn't actually, I also want to add, I didn't continue watching. I am Georgina. I just couldn't, I past episode one. I just couldn't do it I couldn't do it my promise to you still stands and for those who watch till the end of the last video you know what that promise is I got you I'm gonna keep vlogging yes so just pray for the monies so I can show you everything <laughs> anyway I'm gonna love you and leave you here and say thank you so much for watching I'll link everything in the description box for you guys um, and I will see you soon bye